SGLT2 inhibitors reduce heart failure admissions in high-risk patients. But do they work for older patients undergoing TAVI who have typically been excluded from trials of SGLT2 inhibitors? The DAPA-TAVI trial aimed to answer this question. This trial was performed in Spain and randomized patients with aortic stenosis who were undergoing TAVI who also had a prior episode of heart failure and either renal insufficiency or diabetes or left ventricular systolic dysfunction to 10 milligrams of dapagliflozin or standard of care. The primary outcome was a composite of all cause death or worsening heart failure defined as hospitalization or urgent visit assessed from the time of hospital discharge after TAVI to one year. Patients included in DAPA-TAVI trial were 82 years old on average and almost half were women. 620 patients were included in the dapagliflozin arm and 637 in the standard care arm. The primary outcome occurred in 15% of patients treated with dapagliflozin compared to 20.1% of patients in the standard of care arm, approximately a 25% reduction in the risk of the composite outcome. There was no difference in all cause death between the treatment arms but patients treated with dapagliflozin had fewer episodes of worsening heart failure. However, patients taking dapagliflozin experienced more side effects. Genital infections occurred in 1.8% of patients and hypotension occurred in 6.6% of patients. Overall, in the DAPA-TAVI trial, older adults with aortic stenosis undergoing TAVI and at high risk for future heart failure events who were treated with dapagliflozin had a significantly lower incidence of a composite outcome of all-cause death or worsening heart failure.